Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Monica. I am all about helping you to get most out of your Atlassian products and marketplace app. Today we are exploring an incredible app for all the Jira Cloud users out there. It's Time Tracker for Jira Cloud by Everett. If you are looking for easier, more effective daily time tracking and need fast, efficient workload reports, then this app is your go-to solution. Whether you prefer to manage your workload with timeline, calendar or issue view, this app gives you the flexibility that you need. One of the features that I really like is timesheet report because it provides you a comprehensive timesheet tables and it gives you the detailed view of the workload in a well-organized way. I will explain this feature later in the video. If you are ready to take your time tracker in Jira to the next level, then stick around because we are diving in all these features right now. Let's get started. We will check how you can install this app. You can go to the app section and then you will scroll down, come to the explore more apps. And here you will write time tracker for Jira cloud. Hit the enter. And then you will find this time tracker, time tracking and time sheet reporting for Jira here. You can simply go and after that, you will find an option here to get app rather than get started because I have already added this app. Once you will install this app, then there is no need to do a lot of configuration before using the app. You will find this app in two places. Firstly, you will go in the apps and then you will find the time tracker option. The second place is when you will come here in the profile section, you will find this time tracker. Once you will click here, then this is the app interface where you will come, where we have the sidebar and in the sidebar, we have an option like timeline, calendar reports, save reports, billing tag, my preferences and the admin setting. So I will start from the timeline where you will find the timeline view to log your hours. Or to log your time first of all you will find this calendar option here in the top left corner where you can choose the date and we have the next and previous arrow to visit the dates here in the timeline view the current day will be at top and this blue button is showing this is today this is the current day and the rest of the day will come when you will scroll down Okay, now we will go and see what other options we have here in the timeline before logging the time. We have the week uh, days here when you will hover over then you will find information about the expected real work total and billable and non billable hours. So this is a really a great feature. Here I have the Saturday and Sunday also if you don't want the weekend you can simply go here in the three doors and you can enable and disable it with the help of this toggle button you can see right now there are the no weekends if you want to show these weekends then you can do it like this i don't want uh, to show the weekends here as of now you can set or showed by start time ascending and descending you can set your working hours here now we'll see how we can log the time in the timeline view here we have few fields like description issue tag it's billable or non-billable duration and here we have the option to repeat this workload every in a particular day until till day so here you can uh, make this particular workload as a repeatable workload and here we have the two modes are available like one is the timer based workload mode and the second one is the manual workload mode Right now, I will go with the manual workload mode first. I will write down the description. Let's, this is my first task in manual mode. I can pick the issue. Here I have uh, the option to choose the issue from the favorite, worked on, recent, watched, assigned and all. I will go with the worked on. I will choose as a SP4. Here I can also choose the uh, text I can make it billable if you want to make it billable by default like you want all the workload should be billable by default then here you can go in the billing setting and you can set it if you are an admin and configuring this app here we can set the duration I can choose eight hours and if you want to make it repeatable you can go here you can choose uh, the days and the end date 
let me make it to 29 and it's done and then I can hit the plus icon to add a new workflow uh, it will take only few seconds to update here and here you can see this is my first task in the manual mode time has been looked now we will go and check the other mode which is the timer based I will write down the description you can see task for timer based and then you can select the issue I can pick maybe different one here it's up to me I want to choose tag or not then maybe meeting no I don't want to make it billable and then I can start when you want to stop this timer you can simply go and stop the timer after that your logging work will be here we also have a cool functionality you can go and log on the basis of other users you will come here and then you will choose uh, let's suppose I'm choosing the other users I can log on behalf of the other user for this the admin have to give the permissions. so this is the admin work that I will also describe in the later part of the video how you can give the permission to log the work on behalf of the other profile so here I'm using the other profile I can come here I can write down the description like logging on basis of other users something like that I can pick the issue I can pick the tag uh, it's available or not and then I can set the duration if I want to make it repeatable then definitely I can do it and plus this is how I can log on behalf of the other users I can go back to my user now and here we have the description issues tags and the duration we can also hide and reorder these fields here for this you can come here and this is the place where you can simply drag and drop to reorder these input fields accept the issue field if you want to hide any field let's suppose i want to hide the tag then you can do it like this if you want to make the billing first after the description or maybe the first before the description then you can do it like this right now i don't want to hide the tag so i will make it visible and i want to keep this billing here tag just after the issue and if you want the uh, timer inputs duration only then you can enable it if you will not then it will look like this it will show you the start and the end time and after that the duration but i really like the duration one that's why i have already enabled and I will use this duration field here if you want to update these workflow then this is very simple you can simply go and the inline editing is uh, available here like testing for module 1 test you can add this if you don't want to make it uh, available you can do here and you can change the text you can change the duration and you can change the date we also have three options are available here like duplicate split and delete so you can use if you want to make it duplicate if you want to split or if you want to delete we also have a very great feature is to update bulk workload this is cool right so i can go and maybe i want to make some changes for all these then i can go and i can add it here let's suppose I don't want to make the change in the description, billing, issues and text, nothing but I want to change in the duration. Then uh, I can make it, let's suppose I want to make all uh, the tasks to the 10 hours and then sum it. And here you can see the duration is 10 hours, 10 hours and 10 hours. Now I will again use it. I will go here. I can choose this one this one this one I can add it selected I can make it to be eight hours and yeah that's all I sum it and here you can see for this one this one and this one the duration is eight hours this is how you can bulk update the workflow this is really really good feature and it can save you a lot of time rather than just go to each and every workflow and change the time there is one great feature which is planned workload where you can plan the workload even no issue is assigned let's suppose you know like you are gonna working with uh, someone on any specific task let's suppose uh, working with 
David on module one. Maybe you don't know it's gonna be available or not, what kind of issue will be assigned to that particular workload tags. You don't have any information. And you're just thinking maybe you can uh, spend eight hours, then you can go and click here. The great thing is like you will find this kind of icon here in the left where you can see it's a plan workload not yet in Jira. Assign an issue and set working times to sync to Jira. It means whenever you will assign an issue to that particular workload, it will automatically sync with the Jira and it will save your time. So this is really a cool feature which is provided by this app and I really like it. When you will go here in the three doors, you will have an option to show the plant work only. Let's suppose you have lots of uh, plant work in your timeline view. You can go and enable it where you can see all the plant work that you have in your timeline view. So that's really great. But right now I don't have much here. And here you can see uh, this kind of a green and the multicolor line. If you want to disable it, these are the time scales, you can disable it. So it's up to you, you want to enable or disable it, but I really like it. So I'm enabling it. You can also open the Jira issue directly from the time tracker app interface. We have an option to open the Jira issue from here. This is all about the timeline. Now we'll go here in the calendar view where you will see exactly the same features. We have a calendar here where you can choose the date. We have similar kind of view where you can see the expected real work total and available. We also have the monthly view uh, again for the expected real work total and available. If you want to see your calendar weekly, day wise or month wise, you can change the option from here. In my calendar, you can see some cards are top of uh, each other because just because of the overlapping, they are overlapping in the time. We can log the work in the calendar. There are the different way to log the work in the calendar. First is you can go here in the log work where you can write the description where you can choose the issue just like we are doing in the timeline view like we have favorite work done recent and the other options are available and we can go here we can choose the issue we can write the description we can select the tag again when you will come here in the more option you will get a option to repeat this workload and you can uh, adjust the remaining estimate we have the option for that so this is how you can log the work if you want to make this available and here is the option where you can make this available and here you will come where you can reorder your input fields you can uh, hide and visible it's up to you which will you want to show and hide and this is how you can log the work in the calendar view this is the first way and the second way is you can simply uh, drag and drop and you can adjust the time on the basis of the height and it will ask you again the description and the other details that you can fill here the third option is when you will come here you can simply pick the jira issue again fill the details about the description you want to make it billable or not if you want to change the input fields then you can do it and close it so these are the multiple ways where you can log a work in a calendar view we also have an option to go and log the work on behalf of the other users and then you will open this one you will find the card layout option if you want to show the description field or not billing tags you want to show weekends or not where you can set your working hours now come here and these are the cards when you will click here you will find option to add it and duplicate this is the one way where you can duplicate the workload and you can add it the workload the second way is just click double click and this particular window will open where you can edit your workload information. These were the two ways, a uh, timeline and the calendar view where you can go and log your work. Now we will go inside the project where we can see how we can log the work in the issue view. This is my uh, Jira admin training project. This is a scrum software project. When you will come maybe inside any of the issue, then you will find a one option which is show workload. You have to click on the show workload then you will find this time tracker section will be here and you can also find the time tracker section here also. 
when you will come you will find you have an option to log the work you can see only my work you can adjust the column and if you want to hide it you can simply go and hide this time tracker you also have uh, the calendar here where you can choose the uh, month okay so there are the two ways to log the work again you can simply log the work with the help of this log work you can go and fill the details like description issue tags and the other details that i have already described we have all the options are available if you want to go and log on behalf of the other users you can simply go and choose from here and the another way is just simply go and start tracking time on this issue this is cool you can directly go and track your time on this issue just hit the timer button and when you want to stop this timer you can simply go and stop this timer it will ask you about the description if you want to write the description so you can say tracking in issue view you can put the tag if you want to make it repeatable you can do it and submit and the list of the users will be look like this when you will open it we have the start time description billing tags time spent if you want to add it you can go and add it and you can also delete it these are the columns that you can adjust if you don't want to show the billing and tag then you can do it here just the start time description and the time spent is here but if you want to show the billing then you can do it like this this is how you can customize your work log view here and in the side uh, of the issue here you will find more information and you also have the option to log the work and start the time track you will find other information like estimated remaining and logged. You can choose if you want to include the immediate child issues and include the old child issues. You can also have a list of the workload author. So that are the three features that I really wanted to highlight in this video. How you can log the time in the timeline view and in the calendar view and in the Jira issue view. Now we'll go back to the time tracker interface again because i want to highlight the really important feature which is timesheet reports when you will come here in the reports then you will find we have the option to filter our data like we you can choose the user and group project tag um, you can select like it's billable non-billable all you can select the date range maybe like you can select this week this month quarter and many more options are available here you can go and run the report we have details, summary, timesheet and the chart options are here. Okay, so right now I have already created a one report that I have already saved. So I will go with the team progress report. I will go and open it where I have just selected a one project which is Jira admin training. If you want to go and select the tag then you can do it if you check like you want just billable and non-billable go and choose your filter accordingly now this is a timesheet uh, view or you can say this is a timesheet report where you can group your data on the basis of the fields right now i don't have any custom fields but even you can also group by on the basis of the custom fields we have the project status issues and workload author as of now i don't want to group by the workload author so that i can go and delete it but if you want then you can simply go here and just type the workload author and you can add it maybe if you want to group by maybe workload creative you can do it and it will look like this you can also simply drag and drop these to reorder these columns you can go here and when you will scroll on your right side then you will see the other details uh, i want to make the project first then status and then workload created after that uh, issue or maybe project and then issue this is how we can uh, reorder these column here we also have the column option where you can go and select the other columns if you want we have the period option the day week month and this one we also have very great option which personally i like like issue and project format if i want to make the summary only then this is how my issue will look like if i want both key and summary then this one will look like 
but I would say the clean way is the key only. You can go and uh, do it. You can also change your time format. Right now, using a GRT fold, if you want to make it maybe on hours, days, week, and month, you can do it. We have an option to save this report. So you can simply go and save this report. After that, if you want to share this one, you can go and share with the users and groups. You can just simply choose users, click on done, and it's done. You can also export this report as an Excel and CSV. You have the two way to export this report. If you want to simply copy this report URL and maybe want to share something, you can do it. You can copy the JQL as well. So this is the timesheet report and these features are incredible. I would suggest you if you are using this app, then go and try this. This is really cool. If you want to make a new report, then you can simply go here and click on the new. You can create a new report. If you want to have a chart view, you can go to the chart and you can choose. We have a two type of charts are available. Like you can go, you can uh, see as a pie chart or you can see as a bar chart. So this is really good. I have described the timesheet report, but if you want to go and check the details and summary, you can simply go and check. These reports are also good because you have a summary view and you have the detailed view where you will find projects uh, key, issue key, issue summary and the other workload author description, start and end time information. And you can again manage what kind of columns you want to see and what kind of option you want to have here in your report. But in these uh, four reports, I used most of the time this timesheet report. Now, I also wanted to uh, explain some settings about the billing tags and my preferences. You can come here in the billing. This is the place where you can manage like which one you want to make default billable and non-billable. These are the tags. Remember when I was logging the work, I was selecting the tag. So this is the place where you can create new tag and you can delete the existing one if you want. The other setting is my preferences. You can go there where you can set your working hours. You can set your first day of the week, your date format, your time format. And I think this is really important to set your preferences. Now, if as an admin, you are configuring the time tracker for Jira Cloud, you will need to do some settings. You will go here in the admin setting. You will find these global settings here, the locking time where you can set you want to make the uh, work description field mandatory or not, text mandatory or not. You want like all users to plan their time and not. We have lots of settings are available and where you can set the non-working issues, working day. These are the permissions that really, really important if you are using a time tracker because here you have to give the permission to use the feature of the time tracker and this is the rest api token the rest api token is the place where you will enable to let user generate a rest api token to make a connection and to make a communication with the time tracker rest api if you want to know more about the time tracker rest api then you can go and visit the documentation of this app where you will find all the available endpoints and how you can communicate, how you can set up the authentications and rest of the things step by step in their documentation. So you can go and play with the REST API of the Time Tracker app. So there you have it, Time Tracker for Jira Cloud by Everit, a solid tool for tracking time, generating detailed reports and keeping your team on top of things. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay productive.